Alright, welcome back everybody to another episode of Mass Effect, and, I don't know, maybe this one's gonna be the last one? I don't, why? No work. Uh, finally. Okay. Well, let's see where this heads up, then. Where's the conduit? On my way. Nearly there. Oh, I see enemy, of course. Oh, lots of enemies. I just kill them all in one with one random shot. Wow. Not easy to drive through here. Someone tells me I won't get the Mako 3 here, but we'll see. One way trip, okay. Is that important? Oh, it's an aqueduct. Okay, wait, journal. Okay, come do it. Here I can. Someone tells me I will not save the citadel. Spoiler alert, I won't. Oh, great. Let me fight them off. Everything is so much easier in the Mako. I would never fight a Colossus. Not by foot. Like, I would die instantly. And then in the Mako? No problem. Just four rockets and he's down. Oh, look at that. That's a more. Nope. One more. Save as many times as possible. Come on. I want to finish it this episode. This episode may be like three hours long but it's gonna be an episode something tells me now that I got through all the, through most of the security defenses it's going to be a lot easier towards the end here. It's gonna be nice. Oh wait, there's a fight with Saren. That may not be easy. In fact, that won't be easy. This is gonna make me go back to open that aqueduct or something. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be very happy. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Seal the station! The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. 
Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Got a mate, am I? Hang on. Go. Take me home. Taking oh. hits. Take me home. I did it. Do you see that? Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency Well, let's talk to a reader then. I haven't really had much of a chance to chat. Have I? Inside the arms. That's a power. Of course, one person. I'm gonna have to fight it down so I'm gonna die. Okay, let's see what happens. See how quickly I'm, I'm gonna die, shall we? So far, this has got to be one of the easiest missions I have ever played in Mass Effect. <sighs> Finally, it took 15 minutes. It got harder by a bit. There were too many turrets. 
Oh crap, I need to go and put paint, ain't it? How is there still oxygen here? Well, I guess fire is burning, so that makes sense. That there's oxygen. I see enemy. How do they see that find? I don't. Time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. And it's gonna be difficult. To You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has. Upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. Apparently I don't have enough open. No more stalling, Saren. Let's finish this. Wait, is it you should have joined up. Sovereign when you had a chance. Oh, that just is Where you going? Oh, he's probably gonna have like loads of troops around. I'll actually, we'll see where he is. 
Now let's do something a bit like this. Oh, 
not this really isn't easy to access is it oh no you can walk there no you can't how the hell do you get there right, i just want to see all right Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms! Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You can't sacrifice human lives to save the Council. What have they ever done for us? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. Exactly. We can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. We have to hold them back until Sovereign's exposed. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Oh, let me... let me think. Alright, my decision is made. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Commander. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Make sure he's dead. He's dead.
Spawn This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost.
Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Pretty good. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council. We have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Credits come on. I need to finish the episode. All right. Well, thoughts. Um, it was a decent game. 
I love the story, and especially when we were talking to that VI on uh, that old Prothean thing on whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. Um, like the last episode of or something like that. At the end of the last episode, we were talking about that thing. That was a pretty good thing, actually. Like, lots of story. Like, you didn't need to know it, but it was just so good. The story. Um, and, uh, if, if I was to change anything about this game, I would uh, make it easier to fight. Um, by the end, I actually switched it to easy mode because I was just getting so pissed with dying the whole time. Okay, like I'm playing this for the story, not for the action. Well, a bit of action, but I like it when I can kill things easily. Um, still doesn't make bosses easy. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you noticed that, but that's why, but probably why it was so easy by the end. But I was bad with that, part because I would have been here for like another two hours right now. And, uh, yeah. Um, if anything, I would, if I was to play it again, then I would probably be playing it on a better computer, first of all, because the graphics were shit with my laptop. Um, I had shown them all the way down. And I started out with medium on like everything and high on like particle effects or something like that, I don't know. And it worked decently well, and, but then by the end it got harder to run. Um, I don't know why. Um, probably not going to play this again anytime soon, and uh, Mass Effect 2 is waiting. I've already played it once, and it was incredible. It, like, Mass Effect 2 is an amazing game in general, and the Suicide Mission is just epic. But uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Um, but I should know what I'm doing, and I should get to it a lot faster, because here I I spent most of my time running around trying to figure out what to do. Um, that's until I learnt that, learnt that there's a journal that you can look at. Yeah, I know. It took a while. But, uh, yeah. Um, the music is something kind of, well, interesting in Mass Effect. I like, I like the music in Mass Effect, it's not quite the usual type. Um, and I don't know why they're using this for the end. It seems to be like Mass Effect main thing. I guess it's not long enough. So many people. And I'm getting very really low at the end with this as well. Like, why am I getting low at the end with the credits? Um, 
well, what else to say? Like this episode if you liked it. Um, it's probably like an hour long, I don't know. Actually, it's probably just under an hour. It has to be just under. Um, like 50 or 45 minutes, I don't know. But, I can't wait to play the next game now. But, um, but I have to wait for it for a bit. Because I've got... Actually, I finished everything else, haven't I? I I just finished recording Back to the Future, although you're not going to see that until after this episode. Like, I finished all Back to the Future games now. It took me just over a year, you know. Uh, like a year and a half, I think. Wow. Um, this game, I don't think I'm going to probably like half a year. Yeah, it took half a year. Because I started in like March or February. This game is pretty good. I'm like I'm just looking back at what was at the start. Right, this how the story progressed. I wasn't expecting to romance uh, Williams. Like because because we kind of because Shepard and the other kind of agreed that they liked each other. I don't know. This game makes, made no sense to me. The second game is a bit better. Um, if anything else I'd change is actually the combat system. I much prefer the ammo system in Aspect 2 and 3 than... I don't know about the Zombie, probably an Zombie as well, than the Overheat system. Although the Overheat makes a lot more sense, since like, the Echo like, ship that flies in space for a long period of time and do fast relays. And, uh, and there they still use, like, they still use normal bullets rather than, um, that overheat thing, which I assume is, um, the same as a blaster from Star Wars. I assume, but it's probably not. I don't even know how it works. Like, it makes more sense to do that, but it's, it's just much preferred with bullets, if you know what I mean. Um, I was pretty close to rage quitting this, but I made it through with the easy mode. I was so happy. Oh my god, how long is this? Oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if we can see the jumpiness, but I can. V-Sync not working properly. I hope that's the end. Oh yes, it's the end. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah, we can just skip through this real quick. Yep, bye bye.